today is Vlogmas Day 22. We are almost done, kids, and it is Vastmas Day 11, so we are almost done with that, too. Will you miss me when it's not every day? I'm just going to warn y'all right now that I am up to my pointed little ears and irritation and frustration. Like, I am one failed laboratory experiment away from being a supervillain. So it's being that kind of day, last couple days. So if I am grumpy at all through this, while I attempt to pontificate rather bizarrely and meta about villainy, because you know that's where this is gonna end up, I apologize. But before I do that, I would like to show you a thing I found. It is a fuzzy Spider Gwen journal. I mean, it has a lock and everything. I have to lock off of it right now because I'll lose the keys and lock myself out of the thing because I got talent, yo. Has a pen, little fuzzy connective pen. It's not a great pen, but it'll, it'll work. It comes with like the most adorable chibi stickers. Which is just killing me. And her little cowl is like, you can feel up underneath it, which sounds really pervy when I say it like that. I don't mean it like that, I just think it's interesting that it, it's, it's a cowl rather than being something flat. But what's really getting me is check out the page illustrations. Every single page looks like this. This is amazing. This is the kind of quality content I'm looking for in my comic book merch. Okay, I really look for a lot of different things in my comic book merch, but this is so super cute. And it, it was like $7 at Walgreens. So, eh, but it's super cute. I'm so happy. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm sure I can find something. Okay, so today's Vastmas is about villains. And I have a really weird relationship to the villains in Vast, especially since the Brightest Eye were initially presented as sort of villains, but not really. It's like Jackson's even initial thing was about how they're they're going to seem like they're the bad guys, but you know, hopefully by the end of the season you won't see them that way. Anti-heroes, but it's like our true villains, people <laughs> like Victor Rample and Kazakul and Gaska for the in the weird like. I don't know, wiggly, fiddly space she resides in. It's like, I, I always want to think, say less Gaska specific and more Seer Adventures overall, because there's definitely a cultural issue going on here. Doesn't mean Gaska hasn't done a ton of terrible, awful things. I just wonder about the, 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 the cultural impositions and stuff that caused that all to happen. See, I'm already doing the meta thing. But then we also have, like, Crow running around, who is presented as Paka, at the be Paka Peacekeep at the beginning, and w w becomes Kazakul's, like, lackey, minion, number two. The, the Paka himself, themselves, <laughs> themselves, we're gonna go with themselves. The Paka is kind of villainous too, but th this is the thing. A lot of the characters that we are supposed to see as actually villainous and who actually live up to the the definition of villain rather than antagonist or anti-hero are all very snidely whiplash cardboard cutouts of villainy. Which is, is not a criticism and it's not a complaint. For all of Kazakul's grand machinations, he, he's very two-dimensional. And, and it might be one of those things that down the line we, we learn more about him to the point where he becomes a three-dimensional character rather than this cardboard cutout. But largely he feels like a giant ominous black hat big bad monster of the week that at the end of it you're like does anybody else miss the mayor i just wanted to be a giant snake that doesn't mean that he wasn't a, a really interesting villain and it's entirely possible that, that there, there is layers and stuff that that i'm just not getting right now at the moment because my brain is is working about as well as one might expect right now i'm i'm having one of those ooh shiny butterfly days. So concentration difficult. 
but yeah, it's like a, a, a lot of the, the big bad black hats just feel very, very two dimensional and that's fine because that there, there is something, it's the, the hero's journey where the, 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 the villain is, you know, clearly cut to be a villain. Which makes it difficult for me to have a favorite villain because I like my villains complicated. I mean, Kazakul was certainly freaksome by a lot, and a lot of that was Jackson and those bloody glasses and the gnome is laughing at me right now and the giant grin. It's I, it's like you're. Ser I seriously wonder how Jackson does that with his face. It's mmm. It's like that this like creepy smile Dylan O'Brien can do where you're like, how, how are you doing that with your face? It's like a Wednesday Adams smile. How? And, and, and Victor Rample for all of his, his, for all of his, I am a Rample and working for, was it Voss? The, the, the person on Terra. Yeah, I think his name was Voss. It's like for, for all of those things, it's like that they, they're very one dimensional or one dimensional. They're very two dimensional. Because it comes down to power and money. And yeah, those are great, like, villain motivators, but I, I always want something more. It's like, I want to know, aside from Kaza Cool thinking he is super smart, like, super smarter than everybody else and super cooler than everybody else, I want to know what made him into a villain. I really do. But that's me, though. I like to know how people become who they are. It doesn't change the, you know, cool story still murder aspect of them, but I think in knowing how people become what they are, you, you increase empathy and potentially can help others to find a different path than this one. So once again, I'm not sure any of that was coherent. It was certainly wandering around a lot, but yeah. Can I say Chrome? Can I say Chrome is my favorite villain? Chrome's not really a villain. He's definitely an antagonist. There, I, I have made a decision. It shall be Chrome. Chrome shall be my favorite, my favorite villain e ish character in Vast. I've made a decision. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Acted by Max Isaacson. I am a predictable person. This is so not good. All right, once again, do good, be kind, be brave, courage.